Uh, my name is Lara Rodriguez from Montsouris Institute in Paris. Well, how is prostate cancer? It's a form of prostate cancer with a high risk of biochemical risk recurrence after treatment. And how do we define it? It's based on three things. PSA, Gleason score, and clinical state. When the PSA is about 20 nanogram milliliter, the Gleason score is eight or higher, and or the clinical state is CT3 or CT4, which means that the tumor expanded outside the prostate. This is the prostate, the tumor is here at it, and it expanded outside the prostate, we are facing a high-risk prostate cancer. Well, first of all, when we receive the diagnosis of high-risk prostate cancer, we need to rule out any kind of metastasis. So for that, we need to do a bone scan and also a CT scan. Once we are sure that there are not metastases, we know that we have a high localized high-risk prostate cancer. And the prognosis is not so bad. It's true that the risk of biochemical recurrence, which means that the PSA is going to rise, is quite high, but it doesn't translate into mortality. And nowadays we know that if we don't do any uh, treatment with an intention to cure the, the cancer, the, can the prostate cancer mortality at 15 years is around 30%. It means that most of patients having this kind of, of cancer are not going to die because of it. Okay, when we speak, speak about prostate cancer, we are going to hear about focal therapy, maybe brachytherapy, also radiotherapy and radical prostatectomy. Focal therapy and brachytherapy are not the best option for high-risk prostate cancer. They are, not, uh, they are not recommended. So we have two main options, which are radiotherapy together with hormone therapy for two, three years, because we know that there is a synergic, synergic effect between hormone therapy and radiotherapy, and radical prostatectomy together with lymphadenectomy which means that we are going to remove all the nodes that are surrounding the prostate. Okay, I said we have two treatment options, radiotherapy together with hormone therapy and radical prostatectomy with lymphadenectomy. Well, oncological outcomes are supposed to be the same, so we are going to look at the difference in terms of side effects. Some of them are sad, like airtight dysfunction and urinary incontinence. But it's not always the same. If we look only at radical prostatectomy, we can suffer the consequences of a surgery, so we can have surgical complications And if we decide to be treated by radiotherapy, we can suffer something called uh, radiation cystitis and radiation protitis because the radiotherapy is going to touch the organs that are, that are surrounding the, the prostate. Radiation cystitis and protitis. And this is, these is are the main side effects associated to, to these treatment options. Yes, the diagnosis is going to impact the quality of life and the daily life because specifically at the beginning because the patient is going to undergo a treatment and it can lead to some consequences and side effects. So it, we cannot say that it will not have any impact on patient's life, but if we think of long term, um, the impact is not so high. It's probably that we are going to need an additional treatment, such as radiotherapy. We underwent a radical prostatectomy because the PSA started to, to rise, but it doesn't mean, once again, that we are going to die. 
uh, from prostate cancer. It can happen, but the prognosis is not so so bad if we if we have not any metastasis at the at the diagnosis.